Hey guys, Lucas264 and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Now, I was being really stupid in the last episode, so I didn't understand what I had to do to get to go and see Don Pianta. Well, now I know. Uh, wait a minute, did I get this? No, I didn't. There you go. Another star piece there for you as well. Right, you have to visit this shop buy two very specific items in a very specific order. We need to buy a dizzy dial and a vault shroom. So, there's the vault shroom. There's the dizzy dial. Oh, thanks, sugar. Wait a minute, what? What? Oh, no, we don't. We need to buy a dry shroom. Oh. And a dizzy dial. Yes, I want to buy the dizzy dial. Oh, thanks. What? What are you doing, crazy woman? Maybe because I did it like that. I might have to come back in and go back out. I only have six coins now. Oh, that's not good. I need to sell. What? You only get six for that. God damn it. Well, I don't want this. I'll just sell them all again. I obviously did it wrong. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, we don't want the vault room either. What else do I have to sell? Uh, I don't particularly want either of them. Right, well, let's leave. Now let's do it properly this time, shall we? So we need to buy a dry shroom and a dizzy dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. All right, mister, what colour is your moustache? Um, black. Oops, what's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Uh, let's try this again. Uh, okay, mister, what's your favourite colour? Yellow. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, you took out. You know the password. So, um, you must be an acquaintance of the Dompiana. Good for you. Can't believe I messed it up. <laughs> you can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Check your bad self. Ow! Yeah. Alright, let's go and meet this Don Pian Mario. Let's go and meet this Don Pianta. Uh, what's with you, wise guy? Ain't too jolly today. If you got beef, spit it out quick, or this is gonna hurt. Excuse me? You want you want me to get you a ticket for the blimp? See, now, to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No? You ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that? I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want us to run this bum out of drill, boss? Look at him. What a rube. Uh, you must look pain funny, guy. You're just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's gumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't no crime. So, we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up, you got it? So I gotta assume you all got a reason for wanting a ticket to the blimp. I would it. What's that? You wanna help some broad get herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're going connect in all those crystal stars. <laughs> yeah, the crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those, those things the legend about their uh, ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Uh, excuse me, but uh, that's not true. The treasure is real, honest. Hey, everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I ain't can help no guy who wants to rescue some skirty fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor and you get your blimp ticket. Sound fair, right? Sure, what can we do? Anything. It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my daughter, she eloped with one of them young, uh, associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You gotta find my daughter, Francesca, and this, uh, Frankie, and bring them both to me. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly, and with what is known as an extreme prejudice. Yeah, boss, we didn't know anything about this guy. He can rely on some goofball for this job. 
Yeah, boss, Finney's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you! It's cause you lust can't find us that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you don't say making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? Ah, uh, I don't, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. You the boss, boss. Good. I'm all glad we all full of understanding for one another. So what's up, yeah? Find my daughter and uh friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Yeah. <sighs> if at first you don't succeed in reading, go back to school. Right, let's go and find Francesca and Frankie. I say find them. I already know where they are. So let's go and meet them, shall we say. So I have a quick half an hour. Oh, I have a half an hour segment here where I can record and then I have to go out and then I will continue recording tonight. Because I only have one episode of this recorded and rendered and ready. So, yeah. And here they are! Hey, peck off, you creep! You want something or are you just lighting up to people? What? Daddy guess you'd find us and take us to him? Oh, Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute! Dollface, maybe we ought to head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that! Don't you know what he'll do to you? To you? To you? Francesca, baby doll, if you can just talk some calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie. More than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie. Let's run to the ends of the world if we have to. Well, better biscuit. They already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie. The more you try to burn out the flames of love, the harder they burn. I can't even do it. Let's all I marry you, no one really sees these flames of passion. No one. Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us. Can you do that? No way, sob sister. Well, what did you say to me? You terrible, terrible man. Fine, have it your way. But we won't go with you. We won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. No, bug off. I'm not going anywhere with you. Well, fair enough. I'm just going to have to go and tell the boss that, you know, they ain't cooperating and such. Um, what should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell the umpy and dumpy under something. But I, I don't want our looks to turn terrible, whatever that means. I'm Mario, man. No one's gonna, you know, no one's gonna sweet talk me into. I, I can't even think what we're gonna say. I'm still tired, to be quite honest. So I already know what I wanna do for my next let's play. Do I? I just, it was like my brain didn't even think about saying that, I, I just, my brain thought, okay, I should say this, and then my lips moved and the words came out, but I, I don't think I actually do know. Ah, uh, look who's back, the proverbial mustache, you gonna rub out my mood? So give what you got, you know where the whereabouts of these two runaways? Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Broke part harbor, huh? Well done, I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey, hey, you two Nimrods, the kids are at the harbor. Go get them! Daddy, wait! Francesca! Uh, boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie, so, back you come, head on lower than with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you want me to do. I don't deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive him. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, Daddy. No, no, no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're gonna punish anyone, punish me. No, boss. It's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame right here. Daddy! Boss! Yeah! Enough, quiet, bolted ya! 
Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta. I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. Daddy! Boss, I don't even want to see you musk again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go! Do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy. Oh, Dad. Uh, no, I mean, Boss. Thank you so much, Daddy. Thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go! Go! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy, farewell, and thank you. Uh, we saw I need this ticket still. You still here? Hmm, well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and upper soul opera. But hey, a deal's a deal, so you can have your blimp tickets, like I said. Who knew? That guy's got a smile in ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I know you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. I can't pretty much guarantee that. But, yeah. So, now we finally have our blimp ticket. After 12 minutes, oh my god. Well, it's not particularly... Well, it might be 12 minutes by now. So, yeah. Wow, we did it, Mario. We can go to Glitzville. Yes, we can. Where... We got an email. It can't be that important, though. Well, is it? I don't know. Uh, yeah. Coopley. How's life? No, you don't care. So yeah, Glitzville, where we are actually going to meet... I know I said uh, Coops was my favourite partner, I think. But we are going to meet my favourite, favourite partner. And this is one of my favourite places in the game. This is one of the most memorable places in the game for me. It's... This and one other place. Or this chapter and one other chapter. Are my favourite chapters and the most memorable parts of this game. Smiley, smiley. Well, guys. It's about time that we actually finally started on the next chapter. Chapter 3 of Glitz and Glory. I'm going to take a drink. <clears throat> I'm not sure how long we're going to be here. I might be able to do it in a couple of episodes. I might do some cutting in this episode, in this uh, chapter. I'm not sure yet. So here we are in Glitzville. Um, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, launched from the sky or anything, has it? I don't think so, my young friend. Oh, there's a shine sprite there. Time to hunt down that crystal star, eh, Mario? I know, I'm ready. 
First things first, I'm going to go and get this uh, this nice shiny sprite. But we can't reach it like that, so there we go. How many shiny sprites do we have? Two. In coupon. Oh, I really didn't want that, but fair enough. Um, I think that's about it for now. I'm just going to go ahead and enter whatever place this is. Um, go in here? No, we didn't want to go in here, did we? Oh yes, we did. Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right, uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Ooh. Stay down, Pincushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, Wimpy. Stay out of the ring. I feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come back. See Uncle Rock Hawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to your mama again. Hoo wee, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fight out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fight out there that even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take in anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rock Hawk is a champ. Uh, you see that, Mario? The thing on a shiny belt. Is that a crystal star? Yeah, yeah, it's got a bit. That sparkle's a crystal star. Uh, but that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? Boy, I don't know Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we do? Steal that thing. Um, listen Mario, I think the world of you, but really we can't do that. It just wouldn't be right. The way I see it, we have no choice. you got to fight our way to the top and win that belt fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. Okay, that would be this way. We can't jump over that. Great. What's up, Bob? Do you want to become a fighter? Hmm. Well, if you're so serious, you better go meet with Mr. Grubber, the promoter. Mr. Grubber's office is down the hallway. You can't miss it. Head on through. Coops is going a bit mad, but you know. La 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 Is it a heat? No, it's... No, is it? I think it might be that one. This is... Oh no, we don't want to go in the champion's room. What's that? You want to become a fighter, Bob? Oh, alright, go on in. Mr. Grub is just inside. Bye with this one. Who in tarnation are you, son, and who let you in? This is Grubber's office. Yep, that's me, Grubber. And you, you're one room dude coming in without knocking. Uh -huh. What now? You're an athlete, huh? You wanna be a fighter? Oh, yeah. oh we that, that do change a thing or two. Son, I always got time for an up and comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills for young fighters all primed and raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my taste, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now, play me straight, son. You wanna live the glamorous life of champ, don't you? Darn it, Skippy. Alright, alright, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give it a pokey's but two for fancy big city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fucked up my way, fought my way to fame and riches. And know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity damn dynamite! Now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earn enough to set, my, set me up for life. You read me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big and you'll get big. That's the winner's bay. And when you make it big, you'll look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. 
You read me here, son? That's a spirit chief. Here, let's have a little walk and talk. Come on now. Fair enough. Seems we're going to the champion's room. Now, how do you like this part? Just fix your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ, son, and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of being the big money and the screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, no doubt about it son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now, uh, here we have the Major League locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my forest, darn it. Now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't no one... But, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champion, an easy thing. But that's the point, son. Wouldn't be worth it if there were no challenge. I can see you got the fight for a two part. You got the eye of a tiger there. You're gonna be champ, I can feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing, just take a second to do your time. Just jot your name here. Okay. You sign the contract. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, your Mario ain't that a bad handle. Hmm, still, I gotta say, part of. It lacks a bit of punch to be a fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Hmm. Bam! Hooey! I got it! From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Hoo, ain't that a beaut? Dang. If ain't that a stroke of genius. A name that good comes around once a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. Well, now that we got that business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in here a minute, darling? Yes, sir. You wish to see me? Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. VIP can take him down in the minor league locker room alrighty. Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you will be so kind, please follow me. So we are now a fighter. This makes me happy. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubber says goes. Period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubber releases you. There are many other small guy learns that will explain this to become relevant. Relevant? Relevant. Oh, and also, when I was playing, uh, when I was saying before, I don't know what Super Bly is. It's not Super Bly at all, it's Super Bly. I feel like such a prick. Well, here we are, this is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubber will then decide who you'll match up against. You will have no say in this. Why don't you just try it out once, walk up to the screen and log in with it, then pick reserve a match. Let me first... Uh... I can't do that yet. Fair enough. Well, the first match is easy anyway. Reserve a match. Well, howdy Gonzalez, ready to get your fancy dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be the against the Goomba Brothers. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, son, okay? Hey, we want to get everyone fired up, though, so appeal to the crowd at least once. You got any questions about detailed rules? Just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay, son? Well, good luck, Bart. So, basically, what we've got to do is we have to defeat, obviously, it's a fight. We've got to defeat the enemies. But, there is uh, something that we have to do in each of the fights. Like in this one, we need to appeal to the crowd at least once. Uh, we are actually at rank 20 now, I believe. And we need to get, obviously, to rank 1. So, when we get to rank 11, we'll be moved to the Major Leagues. So, yep, let's go. Oh, well, yes. Go on then, let's go. Now, I won't do any cutting, but I will just skip text, because it's basically when we reserve a match, which is going to be the main thing that we do, it's going to be telling us 
the requirement for the match and the enemies. But yeah, we'll just see it here. Squaring off next, folks. Out of the pop in hard as the Goomba Brothers. And a newcomer with a hankery for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Brothers have been waiting for getting it all hit up for the fight. Let's check in. How do Goomba Brothers? How you feeling today? You ready for this fight? Ha! Are you kidding me, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're gonna teach this toddy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call up an ambulance for him now, just to save him time later. Hot diggity dang, five fans. That's the great Gonzalez now, stand striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts strolling up late like he owns the place. Who? Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Of a bonk, punk. Yeah. Appeal to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's not fair. You can't attack before the bell rings, that's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Aw, oh, quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. What was that, thank you? Well, seeing as though we can take them out with coops, I say that we appeal with Mario. And that is our appeal done. So, let's just take out these guys. Hey! So, now we should be ranked 19. The Great Gonzalez wins! Tell me something, what was this first taste of victory like? A fight? What a joke. I'll tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. The Great Gonzalez, indeed. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, bump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more wrestle dolls next time, huh? We understand each other. Good. I'll be on my way then. Mr. Olenio will give you a fight money. See ya. Fight money, eh? Here's your fight money. I got three coins. Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will be there, 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 blah, blah. You have a nice day. Thank you very much, Miss Jolene. So, what we can do in between fights is have little conversations with people, but... Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? I'm King K, man. Just a bush league scrub like you. Good meeting you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. Hey, so why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Mr. Crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well, now that we've gotten to know each other, I will give you advice, bomb. As Mr. Olin was saying, you better bomb away my Mr. Grubber's conditions. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes. Bomb! If you can't clear them, you bomb. You bomb. <laughs> You'll end up battling a lower ranked fighter. Bomb! You can't climb the bomb rankings until you fight the bomb. Ball, 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 balls. Yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech skills. Uh, some speech issues, even. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> Talking about me or the bomb. <laughs> oh, God. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this little machine over here is Bandy Andy. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me, see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like a cushy bed in the champs room, though. It doesn't refill star power. Okay, cool. And this last guy with the sweet purple kicks is known as Kleftor. Grr, Kleftor loam like Mike, friend with mustache. Easy there, Kleftor. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, this is a coal mine league crew, man. You need something to ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me got eventually square off, so good luck, man. Yes, we will be fighting most of the people in here. So, we're gonna uh, take a rest. And that does our FP and our HP. But, I'm going to save this uh, and all the rest of the matches for the next episode, guys. So in the next episode we will do more fights and hopefully rank up. Maybe into the major leagues. Until then, I've been Link Juices 4. Take care.